Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be answering all of your questions that you've given me on Instagram about my new horse Snip who's looking very uninterested in the background right now. Um, so we're going to answer all your questions, do a little bit of a Q&A but rather than doing a traditional just talking to camera Q&A we're going to do it while we're actually doing something. So I'm going to give Snip a groom and we're going to do some in-hand pole work today. Um, and the reason we're doing that is because it's about minus two degrees, everything is frozen so I can't ride, I can't tack up. Um, however, we can do some walk work in the frozen arena over some poles uh, which is part of her training anyway. So that's what we're going to do today. So we're going to jump into giving her a groom and I'll start answering your questions. So the first thing I need to do is take Snippy's rug off and the first question was actually why did I go for Snip and were there other options? <laughs> Stand up madam. Um, so yes there were definitely other options, she was not the first horse I went to meet, I don't know why I've gone all the way around you to undo the front. Um, I actually tried a few horses and I actually thought I'd found the perfect horse one time. Um, it was actually at a dealer's yard um, she had a few and I went to go see one that had evented in Ireland so it had already done um, the equivalent of a hundred so it had already actually gone around a hundred course um, a few times and its record was okay, had quite a good record actually and I went to go and ride it and I rode it and it was a really nice horse, like um, she was lovely, again very similar to Snip, 15 hand mare but she was bay, don't be grumpy, don't bring out the chestnut <laughs> um, and then yeah really liked her, said oh can we come back with my trainer, went back with my trainer two days later and it was like a different horse completely um, it was really horrible to ride, it just, it wouldn't jump, it kept like bouncing into jumps really weird and the time before when I'd ridden it, it was really really nice so that like made no sense um, and I was actually in the arena for an hour and a half with my instructor trying to get this horse to go how it had gone two days before so I don't know what was wrong with it, I think it either had an evic or there was some, it was some sort of pain response because it was definitely like in pain that day um, so I told the person who had it um, there's something wrong with this horse so yeah, miss, dodged a bullet on that one um, and I went to go and see quite a few that were all very much not as described um, and the reason that I chose Snip is as I said in the video look at her, she's such a good girl. Um, I fell in love with her personality, I absolutely adored the way she jumped um, and I just felt really safe and like we connected the first time I sat on her whereas a lot of the like horses I tried I got on and I just felt like I could never ride this horse in a million years and obviously I could but they just weren't my type of horse um, so yeah that's why we got Snippy. What are you doing? Come on let's do your feet. Oh, there's a lick in here. That's what you're looking for, is it? Has it leaked on things? Has it? I don't know. So another question I have been asked a lot is what height are you going to compete? Um, you know, what, what you're going to start at? And the answer to that at the moment is really I don't know. I don't know what she's going to be capable of. I know we're definitely going to start unaffiliated. Um, and probably at unaffiliated 70, so like the smallest and then build up from there because I don't see any point going in at a high level when neither of us or trying to go in at a higher level when neither of us have evented previously but really I know we're both more capable than 70 centimetres um, but it depends, you know, we've got a relationship to build, we've got a partnership to build and I'd sooner start small and build our way up. Hopefully, you know, we'll get to do some BEs this year. Um, I'd like to do B90, that's my personal goal, um, whether we got to 100 or not you know who knows um, but that is like the personal goal for me and a lot of people said are you going to go to badminton? I think everyone would love to do grassroots badminton who's like starting out um, it definitely won't be any time soon if I ever do make it to that level but everyone aspires to it so we'll never say no um, and I'm definitely not putting a ceiling on what I think we're capable of because 
You just never know, do you, Snip? You might be a cracking little event horse and you might take me up the levels. So one of the questions I've been asked quite a bit as well is why don't you just event Smokey? Why have you got another one? Um, basically because Smokes is not made for eventing. He doesn't have the brain for it. He finds he really struggles with um, like solid fences. We've had a lot of incidents where he won't go over things and I've tried to build his confidence up for the last two years but a, he doesn't have confirmation for dressage. Um, B, he puts in dirty stops. And C, it's just a lot of pressure on him. Then I don't think he's right for it. I think, yes, he'd make a nice little show jumper um, with enough time and confidence building, but he's definitely not an eventer. You need to be able to do all three to a decent standard. He's never going to do dressage to a decent standard. Um, confirmationally, you know, my instructor said that, my physio said that. Um, and I completely agree with them. And he just doesn't really have the brain for it. He's a very whizzy little pony who would, he's a lot better and a lot safer show jumping than doing anything else. So a few people have asked what our training plan is, if I'm going to be doing flat work to build up her muscle initially. Um, and to begin with, our training is pretty much, what, 80% flat work, 10% jumping, and then like 10% in-hand work, I'd say at the moment, maybe a bit more of in-hand. Since it's been frozen the last week, all she's done is in-hand poles, um, in-hand walking, um, a lot actually of in-hand work. So it's probably like 20% in-hand at the minute. But yeah, the majority of what she's doing is um, building this muscle on the ground and it will. she'll do a lot of dressage and a lot of um, flat work before we do much jumping. I'm just taking her jumping about once every other week at the minute, um, getting her out new places, seeing new things. I would really like at the end of January to go out and do a little bit of arena eventing with her. I've booked two arena eventing clinics for January. Um, one that's just kind of a real proper training session of introducing um, brushes and things like that to her. And then the other one is actually going around issue across course, which is the one I hope to compete at. So if both the training sessions go well, then I'll put us in for our first competition at the end of January. Good girl. So a lot of people asked as well, where am I keeping Snip? Because, um, well, I hadn't uploaded the vlog by this point. So Snip is here on livery with Smokey. Um, she's on livery because a, um, it's just easier for me to have both of them in the same place. Um, eventually, it'd be nice if she was at the farm because I've got my new jumps at the farm and the arena's a bit easier for training and everything. Um, but definitely over winter and while she is um, getting fitter, she needs access to hacking that we have here. And it's just easier for me. It's closer to my home. I can come and see her a bit more often. She's all done. Um, and as I say, I can't take any more home without sort of getting some, employing someone to help me out during the week or building new stables and stuff like that. So yeah, she's on livery. Um, she's actually living with Smokey in the field. And um, that was another one of the questions is whether they get on. Um, I don't know how to answer that one. So originally they got on really well. Um, they actually kept jumping into each other's fields, which is why they ended up living together. But now Smoke is a little bit dominant with her. And he, I expected her being the like chestnut mare to be the really dominant one. But um, he decided that he's going to be the dominant one. So he is lovely to her. And he only really like puts his ears back at her. Um, but I was very, very surprised when I brought a mare in that the gelding would be more of the dominant one. So now I'm going to pop Snip a rug on, just keep her nice and warm while we're in the arena. This is one of her brand new rugs from Swish Rugs. They're absolutely fantastic rugs. This is her fleece that I'm currently managing to lose track of. Um, <clears throat> So this is their fleece, which is perfect to keep them warm for doing stuff like this and travelling. You can actually win any Swish rug of your choice. Um, I've got a giveaway going on Instagram, which ends 
today actually. Does it end today? Ends today, so I'll make the um, end date Saturday so that you guys can enter from watching this video. So yeah, you can win any Swiss rug of your choice off their website. All you have to do is go over and like the real share it to your stories, tag some friends and make sure you're following me and sw at Swish Horse Rugs. Um, but I'm gonna pop this on Little Miss Lady now. <clears throat> and then we can go and do some pole work. Am I boring you? Oh, I do apologize. guys we are in the somewhat frozen arena now and I have three exercises set up um, that I can't even see because the sun is blaring even though it's freezing. So the first exercise we have are four raised skinny poles. These are alternatively raised and this is really good for her. It makes her think about her hind legs, it makes her lift her hind legs up and actually use them. What we really need to do with Snip is loosen and strengthen the back end. So she needs to be more supple, she needs more um, strength in that back end and she needs to use it because she predominantly uses her front and kind of like drags herself along with the front. So we need to teach her that hind legs are good because that means when she's using them she'll have a really nice canter, really nice bouncy canter that you can collect um, and we can jump bigger. The next exercise is what I like to call my triangles. So these you can do quite a few different things with as you'll see today. Um, we can go over them, we can go around them, we can do sort of, I call it like my little circles round uh, and that's really good for building strength, building suppleness and bend, that's, that's the other one. And then the final exercise are two straight poles. Now this is something that's really easy to do at home um, if you're wanting a bit of an idea for some exercises and we're gonna basically slalom around the pole and work on her bend. So that is what we are doing today and I'll be answering your questions along the way. Good girl. Come on. Yeah, you gotta pick your feet up, haven't you? And think about it, good girl. Lift, lift, good, much better. So one of the questions <clears throat> I get asked a lot is um, what colour is Snip going to be? Good girl. And because obviously Smokey's red, um, the others have their sort of assigned colours. Come on. Um, and Snip doesn't really have an assigned colour because I think it's going to depend on what our event colours are. I really, really like her in green, but I've not tried her in many colours yet. Come on, pick them feet up. So we will see, <laughs> is the answer. I haven't yet decided, but I do really like her in green. Come on, Snippy. <coughs> Good girl. Oh, so much better. She's already getting better at this. So another question is, is she a project to sell on? Like, would I ever sell her once? Um, we got higher in eventing or and it's really hard to answer in a way because I honestly cannot say I don't have any plans to sell her um, I don't have any plans of her going I'd very much like her to stay and go up the levels with me if for example I really got into my eventing and say she didn't want to do a level higher and I did then possibly but I've not added her to the family with the idea of bringing her on um, and getting rid of her at all, like she's here to stay type of thing um, and I think she's got a lot of potential and you know we're going to start from the bottom and work our way up. So one question that I really liked, um, someone asked me if she was a hand taller or a hand smaller would I still have wanted her and the answer to that is actually Come on, sorry I've turned you a bit short there. Come on. Um, probably not, like if he was a hand smaller, 
definitely not because I didn't really want anything smaller than 15 hands. Um, I'm doing this the wrong way, I've just realised it. Sorry. <laughs> I've got distracted by the questions. And a hand tall I probably wouldn't have looked at. I think the highest I looked at was like 15 three. Um, so I probably would never have seen her. Come on, turn. Uh, to actually like try her because I was very, very much set on the fact that I didn't want anything above 15 hands. Um, so I was very specific in my sizing really. I knew I needed something bigger than smoky for jumping, um, especially like cross country because it just, when you're going into a big jump on a little horse, it's a hell of a lot bigger. So um, yeah, oh, that last leg please. So yeah, probably not, which is an interesting thought, in it, Snip? Because you're a lovely, lovely girl. You're a bit stiff today. So another really interesting question um, was someone asked me, am I more confident riding Snip or riding Smokes? And I have to say, um, I'm surprised by the answer. So obviously when I first got Snip, I was not hugely confident on her because she's a brand new horse and no one's gonna get on and be like, oh yeah, I'm so confident. But the first time I ever jumped her, I was probably the most confident I've been to jump in years. Um, and I'll pop the clip in for you. So this was the first few jumps that we did. And it was just really nice. I just felt like I a thousand percent knew going into that jump that we were going over it, um, which is something with Smokey. You're probably at a bit of a 60-40 at best um, as to whether you know whether you're going over it or not. And that's not because he's naughty, that's not because, you know, um, he's bad at jumping. He's actually a very good little jumper. He's just not very confident and will throw in a stop when you least expect it. So, yeah, I think to hack out, I'm still most confident on Smokey because... Um, I know him and I know exactly what he'll do and with Snip we're still working that out, we still don't know what her boundaries are, we still don't know exactly how she reacts to different situations, but in general I'm probably most confident on Snip jumping and taking her out to new places. Come on! I know, do the slaloms. Good girl, can we get those butt? Oh, good girl. Come on. Come on. Good. Oh, steady. Good girl. Yeah, you've moved that one slightly, so you need to think about where you're good girl. So guys, that is the end of our questions for now. If I didn't answer your question or if you have any more, leave them in the comments below and I will answer them on here. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe to see some more of Snip and the other horses. I've got some really exciting videos coming out soon, so you don't want to miss them, be sure to subscribe. And thank you all so much for watching and for asking questions and I will see you all next week for some more videos. Bye guys.